Well, good afternoon, stampers. This is uh, Tammy Stoffel. I am Stampin' Tammy here in Washougal, Washington. Um, we have had off and on snow flurries all day. Nothing sticking yet. Uh, temperature is hovering right at 36. So we'll see what happens. Um, I think they're supposed to supposed to warm up just a little bit over the course of the next few days. So hopefully we don't get icy out here. Um, so we'll just have to watch and see what happens. And um, so last night for my usual Wednesday evening live at 7 p.m., um, instead of going live, I was helping my husband with a um, sink drain issue. The, um, the stopper kind of jumped off the jumped off the track or, or something. And anyway, it got stuck in the, in the, uh, in the drain. So the sink wouldn't drain and it just was a tear the whole thing apart and start over again. This is what we wound up doing. Um, not a big deal, but it did interfere with my live time. So I'm here today. Today's my day off. Um, and I'll be back to work tomorrow, uh, through the next five days. So through the weekend, uh, such as life as an acute care nurse. Anyway, I've got a couple of projects for you today. I wanted to um, show you another design for a um, treat holder and a couple of gift card holders that are simple um, and really simple to do. All right, so... This is some of the items that we're going to be using today. I think we're going to start with the um, the easiest pieces, and then we'll move on to these. This is the um, beautiful gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper. Um, I do believe there is still uh, this paper is still available, but it is while supplies last. It is six by six with some great, um, great um, designs in here. I mean, my goodness, there's the one that we're using. Um, one of the ones we're using, there's another one. Look at these backs, the peppermints, the gingerbread. These are all designed to be cut out with dies, or you can fussy cut them. They are not hard to fussy cut. So those would be um, make great card fronts or gift tags. Again, some more there. Aren't they beautiful? Love those. Love the candy uh, candy swirls. Okay, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna pick this one and. Uh, this one and we'll make a couple of treat holders okay move all this stuff off to the side um, as uh, as normal for me I don't uh, stream a second device sorry my phone looks like it's drooping a little bit there um, I don't stream a second device because we do have uh, a rather slow internet out here and um, although no one is home, <coughs> but there is a demand from people that are working from home. So we'll just um, stick with my usual plan, and that is I'll look at the comments and respond to everything after the, the live is over. Um, I do have an appointment this afternoon, so it will be a little while before I get back to everyone and... Um, and before I get the video uploaded to YouTube. Um, if you haven't already, uh, go over to my YouTube channel and click on subscribe. It's an easy way to find all the videos that I've been putting out. And um, that way you're, you're, in the, you're in the loop with everything that I've got going on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this very cute treat holder. Okay, this little pouch, it's called the diaper fold. Super easy, there is no measuring, there's no cutting, it's all simply folding. 
And this treat holder will hold a Ghirardelli chocolate square. And so those would be fun for like little table flavors or to pop inside a gift for a loved one, take with you when you're out shopping and give them to the, um, the checkers or someone that helps you in the store. Um, that would be a fun, fun little gift to um, lift their spirits, make them feel appreciated. Okay, so what we do with this one here, I'll show you to begin. We just take that six by six piece of paper and it literally is folded into a triangle, okay? Point to point. I'm gonna move this out of the way. It's causing more headache than it needs to. Make sure that I'm working in the screen. Yes, I am. Actually, I moved my camera so I can work a little closer to me, which is nice. So we're just gonna line up those points and then burnish those edges with your bone folder, okay? All right. So next we're gonna take a corner here and we're gonna fold it over straight so that this edge makes a straight line actually. And we're gonna bring it right over to the corner edge here, okay? And burnish that corner or that edge. This piece, we're gonna do the same thing. and follow this straight line right here, right along here. I know it's a little difficult to see because we're using the designer series paper. And then we're gonna burnish. And then we fold this little flap over, okay. And that really is all there is to it, okay? It's a simple fold, it's a diaper fold. And just pop the little treat in here. Now I don't have any of those, any of those um, Ghirardelli squares, so I would show you how that tucks in there quite nicely. Um, you could also put a, let's see if I have one here. Um, you know, I thought I had a gift card. Yes, I do, right here. Okay. You could also pop a little gift card in there, something like so, um, or a little tuck a little note inside. This uh, doesn't have to be glued down, or you could glue that flap down. You can embellish the front if you chose, or you could just leave it plain. There's a couple of different options for that. So that is the diaper fold. Very quick and easy, fun, something you can pack around with you and just deliver a little bit of cheer to people. Okay, so our next fold is an envelope fold, and this is for a gift card. And this one here, I've not finished it, but you can um, you can put your gift card in the slot. It can go like so, or like so, however you choose. If you choose to put it in the front flap, you want to make sure that you um, adhere the very bottom edge here, very, very bottom edge to give you um, that pocket with some adhesive glue. 
Okay, so this is another um, fold using a six by six piece of paper. It doesn't require any measurements and it um, doesn't require any paper cutting. All right, so we're going to take our piece of designer series paper and just like the other one, we're gonna fold it point to point. And burnish those edges like so. And then we'll take this, this uh, point and we're gonna fold it right back up to the edge and just meet the edge there. And again, burnish that edge. And then we're gonna fold this corner over and we want this edge to overlap this flap just a little bit. And be um, square at the bottom. Burnish that edge good. And again, on this side, we're going to bring that across. And lightly burnish, I shouldn't say lightly, we're gonna firmly burnish that, um, that edge. Okay, so I'm gonna use this pocket here for the gift card. And we're gonna put a little embellishment on the front there. So this, again, this will just slide right into this little slot here. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, a little tear and tape. Right across the bottom of the edge. Give that a little press so that that adhesive actually sticks to the paper. Peel that repiece, re, uh, release paper off and then fold it in place. Okay. So we are going to um, I was trying to find my, uh, that's not the right color green. So we're going to use this little ornament. And, well, I don't think we're going to do it that way. I think we'll go ahead and just add our little um, sentiment and then we can add some uh, holly and some red rhinestones. So for the, for the sentiment, we're going to use the Frosted Gingerbread Stamp Set and this Happy Holidays. And this is a photopolymer set. It is still available, but it is while supplies last. This is quite beautiful. Easy to make um, gorgeous images with this or um, the die set. They can, either one can stand alone and that's um, 
really nice. So I need a block. We're going to take that Happy Holidays and we're going to turn it so that we're ready to mount it to the block. Uh, I need a little bigger block, I think. Or we can go sideways, corner to corner. We'll do that. All righty. So, oh, I don't have a paper to stamp on. So let me grab a piece of paper here real quick. I've got the grid paper kind of tucked off to the side. Here's a little piece of grid paper that we can use. And we'll get the real red ink pad. Set it off to the side here. Try to not put my fingers in it. Tap, tap on the ink pad. Stamp it on a piece of paper and take a look. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, I was just looking out the window because I heard a truck, thought it was my husband and it seems that we've got a, a uh, propane truck driver who must be new out here. Uh, neither one of our houses have propane tanks that need to be filled. So, okay, I, this tag is just a scant too short for what I really wanted that sentiment there. Um, but I'm going to make it work for today. So we're going to pop that up on some dimensionals. Yeah, you know you've got a big enough driveway when the, uh, big, tr the big trucks come down here. I mean, we have a log truck, and so we're able to get in and out real easily. Um, But people also use it as a turnaround. And sometimes I'd like to say, you know, just go down to the walk. Down one more house. There's a road right there you can make a loop. Especially for those big rigs. But um, thankfully we're not on a corner right here. Okay. And there we go. I have some holly leaves already cut. However, yeah, I don't, that's shaded spruce and I, no, I'm not gonna put that on there. So I'm just gonna leave it as is. Isn't that cute though? So simple, really easy to whip together. You don't have to do any cutting, just fold and add a little bit of glue. So there is a gift card holder. All right, one more gift card holder to go and we will be done. This one here is uh, more the size of a card. Move some things around here a little bit. And we've got a piece of real red cardstock. And I'm going to be, this is a four and a quarter by 11. We're going to score it at um, one quarter inch and then five and a half inches. 
So I'll get my my stamp and trimmer out. This has a scoring blade, which is the lighter color, and a cutting blade, which is the darker color. Push that cutting blade up out of the way. I have um, more than once cut instead of scored. Annoying as all get out, I have to tell you. Uh, okay, so one and a quarter and five and one half is where we're going to score at. One and a quarter. And you can also see it's got um, it's got your measurements here, across the middle, and at the bottom. This also has a arm that swings out and it um, makes it out to be 17 inches, which is um, quite handy for those bigger projects. So one and a quarter. And we'll just give that a good score. And then five and one half. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. And then I like to fold my, um, my cardstock where the, um, the score line, the indentation is the outer edge and fold that, uh, what they call a mountain to the inside. Okay. So we're going to fold that, give that edge a good burnish and we're going to fold this and burnish that edge as well. Okay, so this is your pocket where your gift card is gonna go. Now, you do have a little bit of room. You don't need to make a notch because it's a shallow one. You do have a little bit of room to be able to uh, glue here. So my preference when I'm doing projects like this is to always use the tear and tape. Um, others will use uh, the liquid glue, um, but I just give the, I like the tear and tape a little bit better for um, holding these items that are going to get a little extra, um, a, a little extra workout. Or you could use the Stamp and Seal Plus, uh, which is a tape runner style um, adhesive. Okay, a little burnish there so those pop off a little easier. And we'll peel that. Again, make sure those edges are kind of folded over on top of themselves. And we'll do the same for this one. Fold and press. And there's the start of our pocket, or there is our pocket. Okay, so for the front panel, you're going to take a piece of designer series paper and that measures four inches by four inches. And that will just have a nice little um, real red border on it. And isn't that cute? Such pretty paper. And we'll just use the um, liquid adhesive. That is the uh, adhesive that I prefer because it gives me that little bit of wiggle room so that I don't uh, put something on crooked as I'm kind of notorious for that. Be sure to say hi, comment on the video if you're watching. I appreciate everyone. Um, the comments, likes, and shares do help. Um, the um, algorithm so that my uh, my videos can be seen and that's why I do this so that I can share ideas with you and also with my um, with my uh, YouTube channel this um, subscribers help it to get uh, to be seen as well so that it's not hard to find me and then you can 
be able to locate my videos real easily without it, without having to scroll back through um, my f Facebook posts. Again, this is the gingerbread. Um, what is it called again? Gingerbread and peppermint six by six designer series paper. This paper and the dies and the stamp set are all retiring at the end of December. So if you um, if you like this, now is the time to order before they are gone. Because once they're gone, that's it. There isn't any more. Okay, so now we have a piece of basic white. Actually, I'm using up my last of my whisper white. Um, but this is um, basic white, five and a quarter by four inches, and then a piece of the designer series paper to use the coordinating side, and that is one and a quarter by four. So this white panel we're gonna glue to the inside, and then we'll put this um, DSP strip on the outer edge. And I do try to get enough glue um, around the edges so that they don't lift, but not too much so that it will squish out when you put your when you put your panel down. And I'm just going to try to line these edges up here. Just like so. Smooth that down. And then this piece is just going to go right there. And when it's closed, you've got that cute um, co coordinating piece. Shopping links will be in the description of the video when I finish, or if you just go to my uh, my page, you can um, find the Shop Now link, or um, just go to stampintammy.stampinup.net, and that is my um, my website and uh, choose the um, shop option. The website, I'm working on personalizing it a little more, um, adding events into the calendar so that it's something easy to um, see and you can know when I'm gonna be going live or if I have any other events um, coming up in the future. Okay, so I just love these. So these are the dies, and there's two different parts to the dies. Um, there is the um, an outer um, piece that cuts the silhouette, and then there's the detailed die that cuts this beautiful snowflake. Um, there's one, the um, Christmas ornament. There's a bell. So, so, so beautiful. Now, because this, I used shaded spruce, I should have went for the um, old olive. I'm gonna go ahead and use the red. We've got a couple of options for the red. We can use the, the red snowflake or the red ornament. What do you think? Or we can put a sentiment on here. 
or we can just leave it as it is. So there's plenty of options. Lots of different things to do here. And I think I may want to make some, maybe make a, a label of some sort for this. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure that I want to put one of those on there. All right, so we're just going to leave it as is for right now. I'll put a little label on here, and then I'll have those um, those photographs uh, put up in the next few days. So again, I want to thank you for tuning in, and um, and uh, so like, comment, and share the video. Comments help a lot, and I appreciate you all. Have a good afternoon.